Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you what I got from Sephora in their holiday savings event or whatever it's called. I just picked up a bunch of different stuff from this sale. I will link everything that I show in this video down below. If you're curious what my favorites are from Sephora or what my favorites are from the sale, I'll post my little collage links down below so you can check out all of the products I would recommend for the sale. So make sure to check that out. But yeah, let's get started. I'm excited to show you what I got. So I need to keep like a bigger scissors up here because I always open my packages with this little eyelash scissor. Before we get started, if you are a family member or you know me and we're exchanging gifts, um, don't watch this video. I'm gonna start off with this because this is like catching my eye. It's the most gorgeous thing here. This is the Nest Holiday Candle. Look at this packaging. I feel like you could just put a bow on this and just put this under the tree. It's gorgeous. Um, Nest has some of the best candles ever. They last so long and they smell up so far. I have like this little baby one that I got forever ago and it smells up our whole entire upstairs when we light it. It's just so good. So I got this one. It's very, very popular. I feel like everyone talks about this and holy shit, I did not realize it was so big. I thought I was getting one of their smaller ones, but ooh! Look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This smells amazing. It's like a mature Christmassy scent. Oh, it smells so good. I just wish you could smell it. You know how there's just so many like different holiday candles out there, Christmas scents, stuff like that. And then you're like, okay, do I really need to smell another one? Yes, I feel like this is very unique. It's like subtle, but just, mm, there's gotta be like some sort of like chestnut in there or something that's Standing, I don't know, there's something in here that stands out from other candles. This also, the packaging is just beautiful. This would make an amazing Christmas gift and they have different sizes of this. So if you didn't wanna get this big one, which size did I get? Let me see, 21 ounces. So I know they definitely do have smaller ones if you didn't wanna get such a big size, but such a great gift. I think too, especially, like I know my mom would love this. Um, I bought this for her, but I might want to buy another one. <laughs> Oh, it just smells so good. It's just such a great, such a great gift. You cannot go wrong with a candle as a gift for Christmas. You'll definitely be seeing this in my gift guide. I'm gonna be filming a few different gift guides this year. I don't really do that, but I just feel like every year I get so many questions on what should I get so-and-so? What should I get my boyfriend? What should I get my best friend? And so I will be putting together some gift guides this year and you'll definitely see these this in one of them because this is just, it's just so good. The next thing I got was some stuff from this brand Necessaire. I feel like everyone has been talking about this brand and I'm just really, really intrigued. So I got the hand cream and I got the body wash. They also had this in a sandalwood scent. I got both of the fragrance free ones. I really wanna try the sandalwood too. I might place another order. So this is the hand cream. This looks a lot like the Davines hand cream. I wonder if it's like the same, they get their packaging from the same place. Love the boxes by the way. I just think it's very cute. This is the body wash. I know it says fragrance free, but I need, I need to smell this. Okay, yes, it's fragrance free. It's very bougie for what it is, but everyone raves about it. So I'm excited to try it out. If you've tried this sandalwood body wash, let me know if I need it because I'll be placing another order and I feel like I need to try it. I like sandalwood. I like deeper woodsy scents like that. Next, I got another gift set that you'll be seeing in a gift guide. I thought this was so great for your man. I So Ruben literally washes his face with the dish soap in the kitchen. I'm not kidding. So I thought, hey, this would be a nice thing to get him because they're all, I think they're like smaller sizes. So it's not like anything's gonna like go to like major waste if he doesn't end up actually using it, but it comes with the energizing face wash face wash, face wash from Kiehl's, shaving cream, moisturizer. That man is dry. He gets so dry in the winter season. And there's also a body scrub soap in here. This lighting is very odd. Sorry, the sun's coming, yeah whatever. Yeah, it's kind of random. I don't think he would ever expect me to get him something like this, but I just think he would really end up liking it, something different. He's not like high maintenance at all in any, like this is just such a different gift for him because he is not, he doesn't have a skincare routine. He doesn't have, you know what I mean? So I just feel like this is kind of like a nice fun thing 
that he would, I think he'd like it. I hope so. Got another Dior Forever foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations ever. And I only have my very, very fair shade, which is my shade right now. But if I do a self tan, I can never use that foundation. And I'm always really sad when I can't. So I did get this in shade 2.5. I'm normally 1.5, which these are neutral undertones. I'm like a true neutral undertone. So um, I'm excited to have another shade in this for when I do have a self tan on and stuff like that. If you're looking for a good foundation, by the way, that gives like a nice matte to skin like finish if you have oily skin all that kind of stuff definitely check out this foundation it is a little pricey but it's amazing i've been going back and forth on like what foundation i'm going to end up wearing on my wedding day and stuff and i think i'm going to end up mixing this with the anastasia foundation i think it's just such a beautiful concoction so yes Ooh. next i got this lipstick from gucci gucci came out with a makeup line and i really wanted to get just a fun bright lipstick but then i realized you know what that's they're really expensive these bougie ass brands they're really expensive and i thought you know what i'm not gonna wear a crazy color all the time and i don't know so i ended up getting the what color is this carol beige 103 i went with a nude and i went with this one too because it's very different from any nude i have it's almost like an ashy grayish nude look at that doesn't that look so pretty? I just, ooh, I don't even wanna drop this. I wanna like film a video close up of it and everything. Um, once I get all of my close up shots of this gorgeous ass lipstick, I will show a swatch and include it in here because I'm not trying to do that yet. But I cannot wait to feel the texture of this. You'll, you'll see this in a video soon because this is just glammy AF. Next, I wanted to get this cleanser because freaking Shiseido. So when I worked at Sephora a few years back, they came out with their Ibuki line and that was the best cleanser ever. It was called the Ibuki Gentle Cleanser. It was amazing. So then they discontinued it, of course. I mean, I, I think I'd used it for like five years or so. So I wanted to stick with Shiseido, got their like Benefiance one. Guess what? Shiseido discontinued that too. So they came out with another cleanser and I know I could just go to another brand that's not gonna discontinue everything, but I'm not going to. This is the Shiseido Deep Cleansing Foam. I'm curious to see how this works. They had another cleansing foam. It was in like the black packaging and it was like double the price. And it's supposed to be like the replacement for that Benefiance one that I had replaced the Ibuki one with, but everyone in the review said it was not good. So this is a fraction of the price and I just, I need to smell it. Hold on. Okay. We'll see how this goes. I'm curious. Um, I'm intrigued. If you've tried this, let me know. And especially if you've tried any of the other ones I just mentioned, let me know. I replenished my Kerastase Blonde Absolute shampoo. This is one of my favorite purple shampoos. It really helps to keep my hair nice and icy, nice and bright without damaging it too much. So purple shampoos in general are very, very drying on your hair. This will really keep it nice and icy without drying it out a ton. I really love this. It's one of my favorites. If you're curious what else I use on my hair to keep it blonde and stuff, I'll link my video right up here. I talk about my favorite products and what my hairstylist does to me at the salon and stuff. So definitely really love this. Had to pick up a new one because I just ran out. I also replenished the IGK 30,000 feet volume powder spray. This is one of my favorite products just to get some volume up top. Um, my hair is like day three hair today. So I actually didn't use any volumizing stuff because I feel like well, I use dry shampoo, so that probably probably pumps up the hair, but I'll use this just like right up at the root and it comes out in a powder and it just gives you some really nice grit right up at the top and it looks, it looks really good. And it doesn't make your hair feel like greasy or anything. So I did pick up another one of these because I'm almost out. I also got the Beach Club Volume Texture Spray from IGK. I've never tried this before. I've been using the Fat Boy Texture Spray for about a year and a half. I always go out and buy whatever my hairstylist uses, but she used this one day and I was like, 
that's new what is that and it like gave an amazing smell amazing texture so i just got the mini size i want to try it out first make sure i like it so i'm excited to try this i did get another gift set totally forgot about this but this is the miracle moments collection from la Mer. so this moisturizer here is one of my go-to hands down favorite moisturizers ever this is not the creme de la mer moisturizer that one is way too thick for me and that one is the one that has like a drugstore dupe or something this one here is very unique it's a very silky formula it's very hydrating and even though I do get oily it's not too much or too heavy for me and then there's a cleansing foam in here which I have tried that and it's decent it's okay but I was intrigued because it has the treatment lotion and the serum in here let me open this up and see it comes in this little bag here face moisturizer again everything is smaller not too big this is the cleanser the treatment lotion and and this serum yeah I think that'd make a great gift another thing I replenished is this brow pencil from hourglass in the shade dark brunette I actually have that through my brows right now this is such a unique brow pencil here I'll show you what it looks like here it's very skinny like an Anastasia brow is or a benefit precisely my brow pencil but it's flat it's so interesting and so cool and it really makes it easy for me to get the front hairs so I picked this up since I've been using it a lot lately and I just figured, hey, while I've got the discount, I'm gonna pick up another one of these. Another brow pencil I picked up is from Anastasia. This is the perfect brow pencil. So when I was getting my brows microbladed, the girl that did them, Kim, she knew that I like did makeup and stuff. So she handed me the pencil that like you use to map out the hairs before going in and actually like cutting the skin and stuff. And she handed it to me and she wanted me to draw in the front pieces just so she knew how I liked it. So um, when I was using it, I was like, wow, this pencil is so cool. So it was just a regular pencil, but she shaved it so that it was really sharp and flat. It was so cool. I was like, I, I want that. And she was like, yeah, it does make it really easy to do the strokes, but it doesn't last that long. So I was like, I need to get just a regular pencil so I can sharpen it and get it really flat. So hopefully it works with this. It might not, but that's okay. I'm going to try to sharpen this kind of like, if you ever see like a carpenter's pencil, I, I know that's like so specific, but like Ruben is that so he's got like pencils that he just sharpens with his knives and stuff anyways i'm gonna sharpen this down so it can get really flat and square and hopefully i can recreate the pencil that she used on me because it was amazing and it made filling in the brow so easy so very random we'll see how it goes okay and then last but not least i got some lashes from the sephora collection i recently tried these out in a youtube video for a tutorial and they were so cool so they were very inexpensive for sephora brand and for sephora in general so i got a few different pairs so the style that i had used before was swanky and they just looked really pretty very like spiky but not too spiky and pc you know they're a little tricky to apply i definitely would probably only wear these if i had liner on just because the band is so thick but i decided to try some other ones too so I got Swanky and then Craze and then Feisty, which is a lot more dramatic and PC and wispy. So let me put them all next to each other so you can see what they look like. Stocked up on lashes. I have way too many lashes now. You guys do not let me buy more lashes. I think in the last Sephora sale, I bought so many of the Anastasia fashion lashes. Those are like my favorite and they were on sale on top of it. Now I have way too many lashes. I think that's everything for this video. That's everything I picked up from Sephora. Uh, I think the thing I am the most excited about is this candle. You guys, I just, oh, it just, it smells so good. So good. So let me know what you guys picked up in the sale. It's still going on. So I'm probably going to place another order. Don't forget, I will link down below what my favorites from Sephora are and a link so that you can follow and check that out. I'll post a link for my gift guide for different gift sets and a gift guide for your man. Um, this Kiehl's skincare set is in there as well. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know all of your holiday and Christmas tutorial content requests down below in the comment section. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you very soon.
Bye.